All right, let's do a uh, pen 5500 SS. Uh, the anti reverse doesn't work on this. Still no anti reverse. So let's figure that out. Let's open this up real quick and get to the part that's not functioning properly. And while I open this up, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit that like button as well, as well as that bell notification button when you subscribe so you can get notified whenever I upload new videos and also be sure to tell your friends about the channel. I'm going to remove this side cap so I can pull that uh, spool shaft out. seems pretty stuck on there hmm. and by the looks of those things someone may have tried to open it up and just couldn't open it up I don't know. we're gonna find out stuck on there. Yep, there's some more markings over here as well. So <laughs> every spot I'm probably gonna try, they have already tried. Yeah, I don't know why it's so stuck. open this side up and see if we can push it out what I want to use here can that go through okay. All right. mm, I might damage that if I do it that way I want to rest it on that bearing <coughs> so let's use something else that's a little flatter okay Let's try this. I'm just gonna gently bang on this. Maybe not gently, but let's see if we can hold this and do it. All right, that should be good. Why is this twisted? And yeah, that moved it, so that's good. Try a little more. That should be good. I have not wookie banging on it. That's stuck right there. Right, let's keep working. Could that be melted? Alright, so here's the problem right here. All those threads, those treadings, uh, or the, the receivers for those screws are up and out. So, 
I'll have to figure a way to put those back in. Or, I don't know. Every single one is up. That's odd. Okay, anyhow. May not be able to show you guys this video. All right, let's go ahead and remove this plate here. Or loosen it so we can get that shaft out of there. thing is these are all essentially at the same level it's pretty crazy okay so that's up let's remove the top here this comes straight up of course not why would it that wouldn't make any sense that would actually be too easy all right I'm gonna soak this for a little bit and just kind of work at it I'm not gonna bore you with this stuff so I'm going to just let this sit for a little bit and keep on working at it and then show you when the, the cover is taken off or this rotor is taken off all right I'll see you guys in a bit Okay, so we got the rotor off and we're just checking this out now. It's like it wants to engage, but it can't. So let's check out the, uh, the spring on this. Well, the spring's not broken, but it's very loose. So can we just fix this to make it tighter and, and work? Or do we have to change it out? Let's find out. All right, so I'm just gonna pinch that down to make it a little uh, smaller so it fits a little more snug around the uh, around that the bottom of this ratchet and see if that helps. And if not, we'll just change it out. Just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Be careful when you squeeze, but you know, we're gonna squeeze. That feels smaller. And it looks like the rice spring. So I doubt it's that, but who knows. Uh, that feels still slippery. <clears throat> Let's test it out and see. Okay, there we go. So we just squeeze this a little bit. All right, so all I did was just squeeze that spring. It was pretty, uh, it was pretty loose on this, so it wasn't really catching onto this to um, create generate any force going backwards to engage this dog. Uh, so that's a pretty simple fix. If you're in a bind and you can't find a replacement part for it, just squeeze it if everything is still intact. I'm sure over time these things can kind of loosen up, so that kind of makes sense. All right, hope you guys liked the uh, the video or appreciated the video and it helped someone out there. Again, don't forget to subscribe and hit that um, bell notification button if you want updates as to when I post new videos. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys next time.